the tension is palpable as this fight gets underway. And it's be interesting to see how this matchup plays out. Definitely a striker on one side against another guy who can really do it all. And in those situations, normally the guy that's more well-rounded will be the one that will find success. I want to see how this plays out. And they separate. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the toe. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Both guys throwing potential fight enders here in the early going. Big knee land. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Single collar tie now. Edge kick. Again. Back into this position. Able to check that kick as well. The distance gets the single collar tie. Just notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. And both guys really throwing with authority. And he landed the right hand there. He gets caught with that punch. Still a nice body kick land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He continues to work out of that tie clinch. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice. And this might just be a matter of time. All right, close guard now. You gotta be careful though, he's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, so he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling can really be entertaining. Nice strike. Slicing elbow lands from the clinch. Big head kick! Under two minutes to go in a back and forth first round here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, lands a kick there, pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. Oh, beautiful execution with the knee strike there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a beautiful strike like that knee with? We'll see very shortly. Watch knees to the body. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at the investment that this young man is making to the body with those strikes. Beautiful punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, missed on that one. Oh, single collar tie here. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch. You have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. Kick. These guys are going at it. Great punch landed with so much power. And once again, looking for that highlight reel KO with that front kick. All right, single collar tie now. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the mark. Oh, he somehow ate that overhand. Wow. Ten seconds to go. He engages in a single collar tie here. There's 
no give on that leg kick. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. Doing great, okay? I want more of the same. This guy can't do anything to you anywhere. You are controlling the entire fight. Stay sharp, don't get relaxed. Make sure he's... All right, second round is underway. Your thoughts on what we saw over the first five minutes? I saw a very competitive round. It was very strategic. Expect these guys to really pick it up as we go forward in this fight. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, man, you can hear it. Bone on bone. Nice elbow land. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, big punch land. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Another shot lands upstairs. Oh, collar tie. Nice head kick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. All right, so the fighters are in the clinch again, DC. I get tired just watching these situations. It's exhausting. This is a position where you are constantly draining at the gas tank of your opponent. Single collar tie now. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Good body shot. Oh, and there is another knee. Man, those are doing a lot of damage to his opponent here in this fight. I'd be crying to my Cheerios in the corner by now. Going to the body now with the kick. That one is blocked, though, by Lee. Nice straight punch. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going on. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you'll see a takedown or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent. You gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. Oh, looking to land the leg kick, that one checked. Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Punch over the top. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Big knee land right through the opponent's midsection. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And they separate. Now connects with the right. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he got that knee to connect to the body, and if you're the defensive fighter here, you gotta make sure you don't eat too many more. You cannot eat too many. You gotta get the elbows to the side, because otherwise, he's gonna land one, and he's gonna shut everything down. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. He lands a glancing right hand upstairs. Oh, big knee there. Grueling work here in the clinch. Both fighters really struggling to gain a dominant position. That happens whenever you understand the position. That's a perfect scramble right there. Beautiful transition. 
Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. And that one certainly found the target. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. I mean, this guy is really focused on those punches to the head inside of the clinch. Ooh, big shot land. And just misses with that big right hand. Yep, not a ton behind it, but it landed. level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight to this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. We expect to fight to get ahead. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Trying to double up on that jab. Lee gets hit by that kick to the body. A little single collar tie there. And now he goes with the combination of punches to the head. Potentially some concussive damage there. I mean, absolutely concussive damage. Landing all those strikes to the head. He's very accurate, he's very fast. And he has a real confidence every time he throws his punches. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finish. Both fighters here continuing to try to get a more dominant position in the clinch, getting fatigued in the process, I would think. It's very taxing to be chest to chest, a position we call all oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Well, that'll quiet the storm. Shot blocked by Lee. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Big punch from the clinch. And they separate. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Sniff that one out as he blocks the kick. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, single collar tie here. Knee to the body. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, nice. Got the single collar guy. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. Yet again, they will clinch here. Oh. Oh, oh. oh man. He's got So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, single collar tie now. Lee gets the tie clinch here. Oh. <laughs> to the body is blocked. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he is up. Man, is he hurt. The finish could come here at any time. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. 
Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. Visibly limping here. That knee might have landed there. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Right hand on point. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very accurate. Lee gets caught, and it was a big elbow there. Oh, collar tie. Oh, nice. Big head kick lands. Great punch. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Pretty good right hand. Oh, eats a knee to the head. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Single collar tie now. Boy, tie plump. Right on the button. Oh, nice knee to the head forward there. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. All right, the action continues here and now as our next Ready? round gets Ready? underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Beautiful head kick. Nice punch land over the top. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Hard shots landing on both sides here. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single hollow tie. He lands a big knee to the body. Nice leg kick. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Big head kick lands. Just out of range with that left hook. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prefer. Oh, goes to the ankle pick now to get him down, DC. We'll see how he chooses to proceed from here. Not the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. Oh! And a big diving punch lands. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. He's going to start trying to move to a submission here. It looks like he's trying to attack an arm triangle. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is. He's moving to the finishing position. Now watch. He goes parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish. Oh, he might have got him with a choke. Side control now, and certainly I would think more offensive options for the bottom fighter than in the half guard. Absolutely more offensive options, because now you can just start to get away. You can just go to a wrestler stand-up. Get to your knees, post your hands, don't allow him to get his hooks in, right? Really be aware of the hooks. But get to your hands, stand up, fight the hands, break away and escape. But it's so much more... Oh! Dude's hurt. So Whoa! Get him. Oh, massive diving punch to the head. Allows him to get right back up. He did a great job securing that ankle pick. 
but did not react quick enough to secure top position. All right, so just like that, back to a standing position. We will see who has the advantage. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing him down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. Tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Nice loop of punch. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Nicely done there to keep his hands up and block that strike. He's got to protect that cut if he wants to keep the doctor out. He's got to protect the cut, John, but he's also got to be very aware because if he's got a smart opponent, opponent's going to start finding the body now because he knows the hands are really high to try to protect that cut. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Watch the shot. Stuff the takedown, no problem. And they separate. He gets to his spot, the tie turn. Then he starts to let the knees fly. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, holy smoke! He put it to sleep. That is it. And that's gonna do it. So how about that? Just before the end of the round, he lands an absolutely huge shot to drop his opponent. The referee wisely jumps in furiously to stop the fight. How about it? He catches the other guy just at the end of the round. Maybe his opponent was looking forward to the stool in the next round. Now he won't see it. What a result here tonight. Inside the octagon, Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 48 seconds of round number four. Declare the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.